All right, guys, this is my rock star storage tip. I am all about making the holidays so fun and helping you work smarter and not harder. So yesterday in the video, I sent you a ton of ways to do that, a ways to shift your mind, get people involved, to make the holidays so much more fun. So if you haven't gone, if you haven't watched that, go back to YouTube or go back to my email newsletter and watch that tip because that is gonna really get you in the right frame of mind. So the next tip is gonna be something so practical you can do yourself. First of all, I want you to use technology to your advantage. So we all have these phones that have cameras. I mean, snapping pictures of everything, okay? So when you are putting away your holiday decor this year, I want you to take a picture of what it looks like, okay? So if you have your dining table that's filled with all the Christmas wonder and sugar plums, I want you to take a picture of what it looks like fully decorated. Then print it out on a piece of paper or a label Right, what room it is, dining room, right? What's, what goes in there? Sugar plums, chargers, plates, and a vase, okay? That's everything on your dining table. Then I want you to print that out and put it on the bin where you're storing said sugar plums, chargers, vase, and plates or whatever I just said, and then put it in that exact bin. So, next, so the next year, you're not reinventing the wheel. You go up to the attic and you see all of your bins and they are all clearly marked. Room, photo, this is exactly what it's supposed to look like, okay? So you're not having to be creative. You can even delegate this. You could hire some teenagers off the street and say, hey, make this like this and then go have a coffee and get your nails done, okay? So that's what I want you to do. Now, the second thing I want you to do that's gonna cut down your design time in half is I want you Two, a lot of people ask about clutter, okay? They ask like, how does your house not feel cluttered when you're decorating for Christmas or for Thanksgiving? Well, it's because you're putting things away. You cannot leave your normal decor out. It is way too much stuff. It's twice as much stuff as you need in the home. So you have to put that stuff away. And when, when you put it away, put it in the item it goes on, okay? So it, let's say you have a buffet or a sideboard and it has like, you know, let's use the example of a couple of vases and some plates on it for display all the time. We'll get those, those vases and plates, put them inside the sideboard and then put your Christmas stuff on it. Now, this is not always gonna work. If you don't have some storage in that item, then you can't actually store your regular stuff in there, but store it in the same room, store it close by and then write yourself a note if you need to but keep like items in the same room. So you're not going up and down to the attic. You're just getting the stuff for Christmas out of the attic, but your stuff is actually in that room hidden in nooks and crannies. I hide my stuff under the bed. I hide my stuff in the hallway. There are bathroom vanities that have Christmas ornaments in it. I mean, hide it where you can so you're not going running all around. It's very easy and contained in one room. So those two tips are gonna rock your world. I'm not kidding. If you do not save time doing those things and save energy, you let me know and I'll buy you a coffee because I am absolutely guaranteed that that is gonna help. So, okay, my last tips are tomorrow. I want to answer your questions, okay? So that question about clutter, that's a normal one I get quite a bit. I wanna help you with that. And the other questions I get a lot because we're gonna start this out and it's, we're gonna hit the ground running. This is gonna be the best holiday yet.